Could MRI and biomarkers spur the development and approval of new drugs for osteoarthritis? The Osteoarthritis Initiative may be a major step towards that goal. At a recent American College of Rheumatology Symposium in Colorado, Dr. Joanne Jordan talked about the initiative and its progress. So the Osteoarthritis Initiative uh, is a study that's really, hopefully, will, will give us a lot of new information about use of MRI and other biomarkers that might help us be able to identify people who are going to have their osteoarthritis progress rapidly and also help identify people who might be more likely to respond to a particular therapy injected either at foam or at cartilage or synovium. Dr. Jordan expressed hope that these new tools will help researchers demonstrate the effectiveness of osteoarthritis drugs now in development. Well, the, the fact that the MRI can see not just bone um, and spaces between bone, but can actually see all the various joint tissues, uh, that a lot of different therapies have been thought of that might impact some of those different tissues. And so whether we're looking at cartilage thickness or cartilage volume or meniscal changes or synovial effusions or synovitis, all of those different types of tissues can now be in impacted by different types of medications. And we can now see them, and that's the important part about potentially being able to use MRI and other biomarkers as outcome measures for a clinical trial for, to show disease modification. Dr. Jordan predicts the osteoarthritis community will hear plenty of news about the initiative in the coming year. Well, currently we're, we're looking at a report to the FDA from the Osteoarthritis Research Society International uh, that really summarizes uh, the data that are out there right now on biomarkers, on devices, on uh, structural um, variables both from MRI and x-rays. And that report will be uh, delivered to the FDA in the beginning of this year. And summary statements of all the different components of that initiative will be published uh, in the journal Osteoarthritis and Cartilage over the next year.